when I'm talking about like my postcards and stuff I guess yeah I guess I'm not really worried about offending people um, because it's I know I it's something I know it's not sort of uncharted territory for me it's just they're just listening and then sort of people will say oh your room's so cool you're just everything's so cool and then I I feel cool <laughs> which is it sounds really silly and kind of childish but I'm not a cool person uh, and I've never had that many friends and I've never really been popular and when people say that's cool something about me that's cool even though it's something <laughs> something that's really weird I guess I don't know I feel really I feel really popular My full name is Aoife Bear Casson um, because I changed my name when I was five because I was really pretentious and decided that Georgia wasn't me <laughs> because that's what five-year-olds decide. I was diagnosed um, this summer that we've just had, so it's 2015, um, I was diagnosed at the Maudsley by some idiots who got it wrong because the test is designed by people who don't have it and it's designed for people who have trouble communicating and yet the only way to test it is for people to communicate with people they've never met before. I find it difficult in situations I've not been in before. So the thing is with Asperger's is that it's on the autistic spectrum but it's, it's, like, it's like the same as high functioning autism except without the language today. So basically, I'm really clever and everyone thinks I'm normal and because of my intelligence I just sort of get by because I just work it out but it means that I tend to fly under the radar and I also get really interested in things and then I sort of obsess over it for a long period of time or a short period of time. Like, okay, I used to collect rubber ducks, right? Um, and I had, like, a hundred and something at one point. I've got about four now. I guess, well, I don't know, I guess my postcards are the biggest collection I have at the moment. It's kind of, it was an unintentional one, just to say. I didn't just obsess over them, I just thought, I, I don't know, I just went, I went on a history of art trip when I was in lower six, and we went to Paris for a long weekend, and I didn't want to spend loads of money on loads of tur so I thought if I get postcards or posters or something, I can put them on my wall, remember the trip, and they're like the cheapest thing in the shop. So it was kind of win-win. And then, and then I kind of really liked it, so I started doing it at like all the galleries. Yeah, pretty much everywhere I've been, I've gotten postcards. And like my friends get them for me now. Um, that one I got given in a practice interview by a really random guy, and he was a bit creepy, but. Yeah, I, I like them. I like looking at them. They sort of make me really happy. They make my room less bland. I have trouble c communicating. Um, I have a lot of thoughts going on in my head and I'm not very good at getting them out. Like, I don't know, I can talk about normal stuff. Like, uh, well, I'm not very good at small talk, but I can talk about, I can have a conversation with someone. But when it comes to personal things, I find it quite difficult. So when people come into my room and I don't know who they are very well or something like that and I get a bit nervous or I don't know what to say, I tend to just tell them about my art which probably freaks them out because they're like, I didn't want to know about the pre-Raphaelites, I just wanted to say hello and I'm like, well tough tits, you're going to learn how tall Michelangelo's David is. Because of my Asperger's, I'm not very good with emotion. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I feel the whole plethora of emotions but I don't really understand them so I know happy I know sad I know angry um, and I know scared that's pretty much it I don't I don't I don't really get grief um, I don't get sad well I get sad obviously I get sad a lot but like I don't I don't know and I don't I don't like I don't know the difference between anger and frustrated though pretend I do, I really don't. And because of that, I'm not very good at reading other people's emotions, so, like, when I'm talking, and if I make a joke, there's always that moment where I'm like, 
did they get offended by that? Did I just, my racist? I don't, I don't know, like, and like when people cry, I don't know if they're happy or if they're crying out of, you know, sad tears or happy tears, I don't, I don't really know. Or when people are shouting, I don't know if they're happy or sad. Like, I, I just don't know, but like, if I'm telling someone about something, if I'm teaching them, then they're just listening. They're just listening to what I'm saying and they're learning. And they can't get offended by facts. You can't, facts don't offend, it's just a fact. I've learned over a period of time how to get by. So people don't realize, people don't realize that I get really nervous. Like I'll tell people that I struggle socially and they'll, they'll say, oh, you don't, you don't look like you struggle socially. You don't look like you're Asperger's. And that's sort of, sort of a compliment but it sort of gets me down a bit because it's like, yeah, so you expect me to achieve the exact same thing as you. I have to work twice as hard and, well, Asperger's is really difficult, I think, because, I mean, obviously, any mental difficulties is difficult. I think it's really tough, but, you know, there are some weirdos out there who, who put up with us and, don't have anything wrong with them and they still they still don't mind us being really bloody weird and that's um you know there's enough out there to be friends with all of us i guess so that's, that's something to look out for all the best people are weird um einstein said everyone is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will spend its whole life believing that it is stupid and I think that maybe people just need to find the thing that they're good at and then they'll be a genius. I guess that's what I try and think of that.